Reporting live from the Danforth Music Hall for the Nurse Blake Comedy Show. It's live from last week, episode 95. Let's go! Woo! Welcome to my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after coming off night shift this morning, I drove one of my co-workers for the first time in a mini carpool since this scene from a Live from Last Week episode in the past. Yet another mini carpool with Sandra. Hi. Long time no see Sandra. Hi. Thanks for coming along with me in the mini carpool again. Thank you for inviting me. And afterwards, filling up the mini to get her ready for a quick day trip back home, we stopped by the Scarborough Coast Station to pick up the sister-in-law. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, sister-in-law. Thank you. And after taking a quick 30-minute post-night shift nap at the condo, I took her and the wife out for a beautiful autumn day trip to a farm that I haven't been to in decades. One up at Hampton, Ontario, called Pingles Farm. But guys, the main reason why we took that 50 minute journey this morning and get ready for another music video was to take the sister-in-law for the first time to do this traditional autumn activity. The one and only tradition of what we would like to call apple picking. And after spending quality time with these guys, doing an activity that I haven't done in years... Oh. <laughs> Please tell me you got that. <laughs> Aim higher. Aim no, like... Hold on, because I didn't do it out of vertical. <laughs> you got it! Why is it so hard? Yeah! <laughs> Here. Is it this one? Yeah. There you go. Just. Is this what I wanted? Yeah. Yay! I have my back. <laughs> we dropped off and said goodbye to the sister in law at the Scarborough Ghost Station and headed to dinner at a local restaurant called Tatami before realizing that it was actually closed on Tuesdays. What a mistake. But then we went across the street to a restaurant called Numerous Asian Cuisine to finally get our Japanese sushi craving fixed for the night. Before 
And one thing I noticed about our bill after we got it, remember that there was news that there was a law that was passed about this that happened to start on Thursday, is that there was a credit card surcharge that was added to our bill. So if you guys haven't heard by now, restaurants can now pass down the charges that they've been charged by the credit companies down to their customers. But anyways, before I wrap it up for the night and catch up on some missed sleep, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, a birthday shout out to a former co-worker who used to word clerk when I first started my career at the hospital. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Moshi. Happy birthday, Moshi. We've also got a birthday greeting to another former co-worker who I used to CA with when I was living at Wysig. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Shelby. Happy birthday, Shelby. Next up, a birthday greeting to somebody who I went to school with in university and graduated with back in 2009. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Lily. Happy birthday, Lily. Up next, we got a birthday greeting to a family friend who I used to visit in Boston when I was younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jasmine. Happy birthday, Jaja. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to a high school classmate of mine back at St. Stephen's and who I remember last seeing when I was living downtown at Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Benjamin. Happy birthday, Ben. I'm hoping that all my friends and family at this time that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after catching up on some sleep and waking up to Sportsnet Central having a brand new set on TV, I took a nice scenic drive through the cemetery to go visit my Lola and also meet up with my cousin Faye to see her brand new car rental. Yo, is that a Dodge Charger? What? <laughs> and after doing our monthly visit to Lola, Morning, Lala. Or we mean this, Lala. Good morning, Lala. That was good. That was good. Just leave it. <laughs> How does it look? Looks good. Very festive, Lala. Okay, bye, Lala, for our October visit. Happy fall. We are now here at Avondale Park to drop off the wife for her appointment to get her nails done. And obviously, while waiting for her, I went to the local nearby Yorkdale Mall and got us some lunch, aka what we know as Chick-fil-A. And so, while I wait here and take in the beautiful autumn trees at this park, before I meet up with the wife and surprise her with the Chick-fil-A, we'll just do a couple of birthday greetings for today. Starting off with one of my cousins-in-law that I met in the Philippines who also helped me learn the Filipino language while I was visiting them a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you Diane. Happy birthday Diane. We've also got a birthday shout out to a university friend of mine of whom I'm remembering meeting at the nursing games several years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you Paul. Happy birthday Paul. I'm hoping that all my friends and family at this time that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, all right guys, it's time to finish up with playing in the park here and go meet up with the wife and check out her brand new nails. Let's see your nails. Oh, I like them. <laughs> wow, they look nice. Nice, right? Yeah, I like them. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, here, Thanks, open the door here. Woo! <laughs> you need that Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Let's go! Chick-fil-A, 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 Chick-fil-A. And after surprising the wife with some post-nail spa Chick-fil-A, we headed back home to enjoy this feast for lunch. We then went to meet up our co-workers at a place that you guys know that we've been to in the past. To be active, have fun, and take the GoPro out to take some action videos at Scarborough's Activate. 10, 11, 13, 13. oh, go, 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 right here! Where is the green? <laughs> there! You got it, 
And afterwards, the wife was actually rewarded with an Activate wristband, one that she can actually take home for accumulating so many Activate points in order to win this prize. We all then went to Scarborough's local Diana's Oyster Bar and Grill, where we enjoyed some pretty good fish and chips, some of this pretty delicious paella, and to try out some PEI oysters from the Oyster Bar to wrap up our day out. Yeah, it's not bad, right? Yeah. It's not as salty. I've tasted worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So after a great day out yesterday and a busy past couple of days, this morning I woke up early before the sun came out to be the Uber driver for the wife to get her downtown for her day shift this morning. Driving by and seeing these lightsaber-like parking gates at the Sheraton Center hotel entrance and driving in less than ideal foggy slash cloudy conditions today. But anyways, for the rest of the day, I'll be taking it easy. Later on, going in for my first of my four night shifts with seven shifts in the span of the next nine days. So yeah, guys, for now, I'll just be working on some live from last week editing and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. Guys, this morning I got out of work, not believing how I got through work on that crazy long 13 hours nonstop busy night shift and realizing that that was only the first of my set of four night shifts. Meaning I just have three more to go. But anyways, after I took my post night shift nap, I was watching some MLB playoffs on TV and caught this blooper from one of the broadcasters. Justin Bieber just threw his 84th pitch. Trevor Steffen is up in the Cleveland bullpen. Did I actually called Shane Bieber, Justin Bieber. <laughs> I wonder if he's watching the game. Shane Bieber, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys can name one Justin Bieber song, I'd give you 10 bucks. Yummy. <laughs> yes, Ron, yes. Anyways, after I had a little chuckle with that, I was remembering that today is Friday. Which also reminded me that Friday nights are meant for going out for social drinks with family and friends. And also reminded me of this scene from last week when I was introduced to Tito Rene's new customized cup. Oh my coffee. What does it say? Where's my beer? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my beer? Cheers. Cheers. Woo. And honestly, I found it quite funny because every time he looks down and takes a sip from this cup, Drinking his coffee in the morning, he'll look down at his drink and say out loud, Hoi! Where's my beer? <laughs> <laughs> but moving on, before I go in for my second in my set of four night shifts tonight, we have a couple of quick birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with a birthday shout out to one of my FSAT friends back in the past, who is very athletic, playing basketball from time to time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Angelica. Happy birthday, Angelica. We also have a birthday greeting to a family friend who, on the odd occasion, I would reunite with at 52. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Richard. Happy birthday, Richard. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night, I was lucky enough to find ground level parking at work yet again. And also lucky enough to work my night shift with this guy, of whom I haven't mini carpooled with in what seems like over a year. Yo, mini carpool with this guy, special guest, Nej, what's up? Uh, later, man. Later, later, thanks. And after dropping him off this morning and watching these geese take their Saturday morning walk, I got home and remembered that it's officially been one full week since my beloved Blue Jays were eliminated from the 2022 postseason playoffs. And although, to be honest, I've been grieving for the past seven days, I do feel a little bit better than I did last week, and I'm finally ready to put my Blue Jays jerseys away for the winter. I'm also remembering when I met up with Faye and Duave earlier this week, we completed an earlier upon agreed trade for a couple of Blue Jays giveaways that we got this year, where I traded my Kevin Gossman bobblehead, okay. the bobblehead, for these babies. One Blue Jays bucket hat 
and this Friends sitcom night themed t-shirt. Anyways, before I go on for my third night shift in a row tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my former BBG co-workers who, at the health center, I used to help out when I worked there. This birthday shout out goes out to you Ainsley. Happy birthday Ainsley. Next up, we got a birthday shout out to another former co-worker of mine who, when I started my career, used to go out on fun outings on the weekends with. This birthday shout out goes out to you Susan. Happy birthday Susan. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to one of my friends up in heaven that I used to go to Mother Teresa with and ice skating lessons with when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lauren. Happy birthday, Lauren. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This morning, after coming off a very busy night shift where I transferred somebody to the ICU, we got this marvelous post night shift video of the autumn foliage in the background while driving on the DVP. I also recall that today they are holding the Toronto Waterfront Marathon, one of my favorite running races, where in previous years I would run either the 5k, the half marathon, or the marathon race. Either running the course as a normal runner, coming off a set of night shifts straight to the starting line, running while dressed in several different costumes, and even in time when I set a Guinness World Record for running the fastest marathon in a Blue Jays baseball uniform. But guys, since I'm out of shape and exhausted from several busy and stressful night shifts, I've decided to forego the race for this year. And well, speaking of work and having my Get Shift Done shirt on, tonight I'll be going in for my last night of my set of four night shifts. And of course, I'm excited because I've only got one more night. But before I go to work, I have a couple of birthday greetings. Starting with a friend of mine who I went on a snowboarding trip up at Blue Mountain with the Filipino crew several years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ray. Happy birthday, Ray. As well as a birthday shout out to another friend of mine, a co-worker's husband, with whom I caught a picnic and a Blue Jays game with earlier this summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kev. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Last night, after going online and doing a Sunday Roman Catholic Mass, I went in for my fourth night shift, and remembered this morning when I got off shift that I promised my coworker that I would pick up for her a special yellow apple when I went to the apple orchard earlier this week. Grab the, the branch. Oh my God. You're almost there. Oh. Nice. Yeah. You're working for it. And finally, after not seeing her for over a week, I was able to deliver her her freshly picked apple straight from the farm. So it's not the most yellowest apple, but I got one with a little bit of yellow. Open it up. Open up your present. Straight from the farm. I don't forget. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, that's good you remember or it's gonna something happen to you. Thank you. <laughs> and afterwards, after coming home and taking a quick three hour post night shift nap, I played Uber driver to the wife to drive her to her afternoon Cairo appointment. And then after, when she told me that she had some issues with her newly done nails that were coming off, I dropped her off in North York to get them touched up and redone, just like new. We then went to Ikea for the first time since this episode, which happened almost one full year ago, and got some dinner at their Swedish restaurant. In the form of fish and chips and their delicious salmon with veggie medallion. Next, we headed to the Danforth Music Hall for the first time for both of us, catching one of our favorite comedians that we see on our Facebook video feed, the one and only hilarious Nurse Blake at his stand-up comedy show, which I will feature a little bit more in next week's episode, so guys, stay tuned. But for now, throwing back to last week when I got this post-golfing gift from a Duave, an authentic, flip authentic flip side apparel yeah. shirt which we'll check out later on. I want to show off to you guys this Ninja Mode shirt. And well, check it out. I turned from a regular Joe Schmo 
And in just a couple of seconds, with a quick flip of the shirt, boom, I'm a ninja. And you guys too could get a shirt just like this from a Duave site called Flipside Apparel. Of which I'll put a link up on the description below, so definitely go check it out. Especially with Halloween coming up soon, you can buy a shirt just like this for a quick, simple, and easy costume for October 31st. But yeah, before we wrap it up for the week, we just have a couple of birthday greetings. Starting off with one of my friends that I made at FCAR back when I was in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jessica. Happy birthday, Jessica. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my house league soccer teammates back when I was younger playing for DQ. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood neighbors of whom I'm remembering was also a pretty good competitive dancer back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, it looks like we've come up to the end of this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.